Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, we'll see what is Chapit's method, okay, and how to solve it. Chapit's method. Chapit's method is used to solve the non-linear PDEs, okay. It is one of the methods to solve non-linear partial differential equations, okay. So my partial differential equation will have all these terms, okay, f of x, y, z, p, q equal to zero. That means I'll be having all these terms x y z p q i'll have i'll have all these terms okay now uh yeah this is done now chapit's auxiliary equation just like in lagrange's we had an auxiliary equation say, uh, same way we have an auxiliary equation in chapit's method which is a quite lengthy and we need to memorize this equation um now so the uh, auxiliary equation is void dp by dou f by dou x plus p into dou f by dou z Okay, this is for dp. For dq, it is dou f by dou y plus q into dou f by dou z, which is equal to d dz is e, uh, dz by p into dou f by dou p minus q into dou f by dou q is equals to dou x by minus of dou f by dou p is equals to dy by dou, minus of dou f by dou q. Here, if you see, I've got all these terms right x y z p q. So I need to differentiate all these partially here. Differentiating f with respect to x one is done then differentiating f with respect to y so do f by do y similarly differentiating f with respect to word z right next differentiating f with respect to p so do p next is differentiating f with respect to q okay then we have got this auxiliary equation. We need to word substitute uh, uh, all these values, these differential values, whatever values we get. We, I need to substitute all these values here. And then what I need to do is I need to take any two members. Let it be these two, this two, this two, any two. Okay. And what I need to do, I need to find the values of P and Q. Okay. Take any two members and find the values of P and Q. Okay. I need to find the values of P, Q, P and Q. After finding the values of P and Q, then what? I need to substitute this P and Q in this equation. Z is equals to P dx plus Q dy. Okay. My aim is to substitute the values in P and Q. Uh, uh, substitute the values of P and Q in this equation. For that, what I'm doing? I'm substituting this values of... Uh, Partial differential is an auxiliary equation of Chapit's method. Clear? Done? After this word, I need to solve it. Here, substitute karne ke I don't have to solve it because I've got this terms, right? dx and dy. So, I need to word, I need to solve it. Solve it how? By integrating. Okay? I need to integrate this. Clear? So, that's what we need to do. So, my PDE will be in, um, in this form. x, y, z, p, q. I'll have all these terms. After that word, I've got an auxiliary equation. I need to substitute these values. For substituting these values, I need to word partially differentiate f with each and every term. x, y, z, p and q. Partially. Okay? Next is word. After substituting here, I need to take any two terms, any two members and solve for p and q. After getting the values of p and q, simply I need to substitute it in this equation. Okay? z is equals to p dx plus q dy after that i need to solve it solving it in uh, solving solving it means word i need to differentiate it okay let's quickly uh, see some examples so that it will be clear, clear for us how to solve it okay let's quickly see one example suppose this is the question given and it is asked to solve it in chapit's method z is equals to px plus qy plus p square plus q square is the given question and it is asked to solve it in chapit's method what you need to do is see let this be equal to F. So what will what what will I be doing? See here, z and these terms. I've got two different sides, right? So what will I do? I'll write it in, write it all this together. I'll send all these terms to this side. So this will be f is equal to z minus this is plus, right? Goes to the other side. It will be minus px. This will be minus qy. This will be minus p square. This is this will be minus q square because uh, we saw it, right? Uh, uh, our Chapit's method was in this form. F of x y z p q is equals to 0 that's why we are writing it in this form okay f is equals to z, z minus p x minus q y minus p p square minus q square okay all the terms to one side now what i've got p q x y z i need to differentiate partially differentiate with respect to all these okay that's what we are doing i'm uh, differentiating my f with respect to first x 
ठीक है फर्स्ट विल विल डिफ्रेंशिएट इट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स सो डी एफ बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू आई डोंट हैव एनी एक्स टर्म हियर सो दिस विल बी जीरो हियर आई हैव एन एक्स टर्म सो पी विल बी एज इट इज एक्स का डिफ्रेंसिएशन इज वाई वन सो दैट्स वॉट वी आर राइडिंग माइनस आई डोंट हैव एनी एक्स टर्म हियर सो दिस विल बी जीरो दिस विल बी जीरो दिस विल बी जीरो ठीक है सो फाइनली वर्ड डो एफ बाई डो एक्स इज वर्ड पी इन टू वन इज पी सो माइनस पी इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस पी सो माई डो एफ बाई डो एक्स इज वर्ड माइनस पी नाउ वर्ड नेक्स्ट लेट्स डिफ्रेंशिएट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई नाउ ठीक है लेट्स डिफ्रेंशिएट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई सो डो एफ बाई डो वाई इज इक्वल टू सी हियर डो आई हैव एनी वाई टर्म नो हियर डो आई हैव एनी वाई टर्म नो सो दिस विल बी जीरो नेक्स्ट हियर येस आई हैव अ वाई टर्म हियर सो दिस माइनस क्यू विल बी एज इट इज वाई का डिफ्रेंसिएशन इज वर्ड वन सो वन Minus, I don't have any y terms here, so zero. So therefore, do f by do y is what? Minus q into one is q, so minus q. Done. Next, let's differentiate it with respect to z. So do f by do z is equals to. I have a z term here, so z ka differentiation is what? One. In the remaining terms, do I have any z? No, I don't have it. So all these terms becomes zero. So do f by do z is what? One. That's it. Next. x y z is done what is left p and q let's differentiate with respect to p first so here if you see i've got no p term so this will be zero but here i have a p term p ka differentiation is here i have a minus p ka differentiation is 1 x will be as it is theek hai i'm differentiating with respect to p so p differentiation is 1 x will be as it is that's what i wrote minus 1 into x x into 1 is x okay here i don't have any p term so this will be zero here i've got a p square so p square ka differentiation will be 2p next this term doesn't have any p so this will be zero next i need to differentiate shared with respect to q okay wait here uh, x into 1 is 1 so minus x i have got a minus right so minus x minus p so my do f by do p is what minus x minus p done next what is left now q is left let's differentiate this equation with respect to q so Here I don't have any q term. Q term, yeah, I have a q term here. So what what happens? Q ka differentiation is one. Y as it is. Okay. Minus sign is there, so minus one into y. So one into y is y. Now next, here do I have any q term? No. Here I have a q term. So here q square is two q. Also I have a got a minus sign, so minus two q. So here it will be minus two q. So minus y minus two q is my do f by do q. Done all the values. Now this is my auxiliary equation for Chapman's method, right? This is my auxiliary equation. What I need to do? Simply substitute all these values in this auxiliary equation. So see here, dp by do f by do x is what? Minus p, right? Minus p plus this p as it is. Do f by do z. Do f by do z is what? One. So one is equals to dq as it is. Do f by do y. Do y is what? Minus q. So that's why minus q. Plus this q as it is. Do f by do z is what? One right? So one. Next here do z. Uh, sorry, d z. D z as it is. Minus p as it is. What is do f by do p? Minus x minus two p. So minus x minus two p. Minus q into minus q as it is. Do f by do q is what? Do f by do q is minus y into two minus two q minus y into minus 2q done next is equals to dx dx as it is minus minus as it is do f by do p is what it is minus do f by do p is minus of minus sorry minus x minus 2p so minus x minus 2p here this minus is as it is minus x minus 2p done next dy as it is minus as it is do f by do q is what Do f by do q is minus y minus two q minus y minus two q. Simply substituting all these all the values in the auxiliary equation of Chapman's method. Now, I need to take any two and uh, I need two members and uh, find the values of p and q. So if you see here, in all these, this term will become zero, right? Minus p plus p becomes zero. Here, minus q plus q becomes zero. So solving these two becomes easier now. So I'll take these two only. So dp by minus p plus q p into one is p right uh, minus p plus p dq by minus q q into one is q done. So this will be what dp by zero right and this will be dq by zero. Both these terms becomes 
zero now okay so the, uh, i'm writing it in individually dp is equals to zero and dq is also equal to zero now i'll differentiate this uh, i don't have anything here so i'll consider this as one similarly i don't have anything here i'll consider this as one so this will be what one ka differentiation is p and i'll i'll get a constant that is c1 and one ka differentiation is q i'll get a constant that is c2 okay so i need to substitute in this form right this is the solution i need to substitute here dx is equals to p dx plus q dy what is the value of p it is c1 what is the value of q it is c2 so i need to integrate it so integrating c is a constant so i'll keep it as, as it is and integrate dx c is a constant i'm integrating dy so here there is nothing i'll consider 1 here there is nothing i'll consider 1 okay so here same thing here there is nothing i'll consider 1 1 ka differentiation is z in terms of z and c1 as it is 1 ka integration with respect to x is x plus c2 as it is 1 ka differentiation with respect to y is y y so this is my final answer okay z is equals to c1 x plus c2 y got clear so this is how i'm going to solve my chapter methods